Hey guys, it's Trippies here, welcome back to another video and for today's video I'll be showing you how to create your very own smooth and realistic Roblox animation using Maximo. If you are new to GFX's I suggest watching this tutorial right here because it will explain all the basics of Blender and Roblox Studio. Anyways, Maximo is a website that offers a range of animations that you can use and import into your Roblox animations for your Roblox intro. It's really cool and it's such an easy way to create your own Roblox intro or animation. Um, if you're wanting to make your own custom animation, then I recommend you checking out this tutorial here, which is on how to make your own custom Roblox animation. Anyways, let's get started on this video on how to make a smooth and realistic Roblox animation using Mixmo. First, let's head over to Roblox Studio and go into Base Plate. So we're going to go up to Plugins, click Load Character, and just write in your username and spawn R6. As I normally do, I change my face, but I'm just going to speed up the part because it's really not necessary at all. Delete base plate, select it, export selection, and just save it on your computer. Now we want to select a room model to add into our animation, so I'm going to just select one. Okay, so I've chosen this really cute room model by All Melly and it's the wardrobe one. Okay, so we're going to head over to the website Maximo and if you already have an Adobe account, you can just log in and if you don't, just sign up here. After you log in, it will redirect you to the Mixamo website where all the animations will be shown right there. There are so many of them to choose from. As you can see, it shows my Roblox avatar there, but that's only because I've previously uploaded it. If yours doesn't, do not worry because we'll be getting to that step very soon. So I'm going to head over and I'm going to click dance. I really like the dance animations. Like There are so many. Look at all of these. Look at how many there are, and there are so many, just four pages. I okay, so after I filmed this, I did end up changing to the catwalk twist and pose animation, but currently I'm just using the sleeping one, but this is the one I do end up using if you want to use this one. Okay, so I've selected the sleeping ideal animation right here, and once you have selected your own animation, you have to go over to here where it says upload character, click that, click select character file and head over to your OBJ that you just downloaded from Roblox Studio. So here it is, Trophio's OBJ, I'm going to open that up and it's just going to upload that for us. Okay, so once it's finished uploading, it's going to come up with this. Click this button over here and it's just going to rotate to the front so you can see it and then click next. Here we need to basically place these circles onto the parts that it's allocated with. So this teal circle is for the chin, so I'm going to place it over here just on my avatar's chin. Then I'm going to grab the wrist ones and I'm just going to place them on the wrists. Just so they fit perfectly, make sure they're as accurate as possible so your animation looks best. Then I'm going to go to elbows, just place these right on my elbows. I'm looking at this zoom in thing up here, it just makes it way more accurate. Okay, 
and then you're going to grab the knees and there's no spot really for the knees you're just going to have to put them in the middle of the leg um just making sure those are perfect then for the groin just place it just here where your torso and legs kind of come together then just head over here and click next and it's just going to load that for you Okay, once it's finished loading, it's going to give you a preview here. I think that looks good to me, so I'm going to click next. Then it's just going to show what it, the animation will look like here. And if you're happy with that, click download. Leave everything here the same and click download again. Okay, go up to file and then you go down to import and then select FBX and then just select your file. Now click that cube button and make all the scales one. As you can see, our avatar is grey, so we're going to add our image texture to it. First, just go down here, click the white circle and change it to the texture option. Okay, now we're going to head over to the material settings, click new, and then click image texture, and upload the texture that was exported when you exported your character. You will have multiple textures, so try all of them to make sure you get the right one. Repeat this step on every single part of your avatar. So the hair, the earrings, the body and everything. All the powers of the sun To dream, believe in strength now Okay, so at the bottom of your blender, there's a button that says end with a number. You need to change that number to the length of your animation. As you can see, my animation is about 40 length, so I'm going to crop it the end to 40. Okay, then head over to the render settings and go to where it says PNG. Click that and select FFNJPEG video. Then just name it whatever and save it somewhere on your laptop and click accept. All you need to do now is add a camera and then just hit that big animation button. Shield you all from the enemy. You're a superhero. You're a superhero.